What is up, my friends? Toby Wayne from Toby Wayne Studios. Uh, so today, I wanted to do this quick little video here on my bases. I've been getting quite a few questions on my social media's uh, accounts as to what I do for my bases for my sculptures. So I just figured I'd do this quick little video here to kind of show you what I do personally. Um, I've always wanted to make my bases very simple um, and have my sculptures be the major focal point. So I keep my bases very simple. Um, what I've done is um, I've gone to Tap Plastics, and uh, which is in Oregon here, but you could pretty probably pretty much go anywhere uh, that sells acrylic um, uh, plastics or or whatnot. But I would recommend checking out Tap Plastics. They've they've got a really nice selection of uh, dowels and rods that are um, plastic, solid plastic. But anyway, I went to Tap Plastics and I picked up this uh, rod uh, dowel. I I picked this size because I. I knew I wanted to do smaller sculptures, um, and I'm not sure exactly what the dimensions are on this one. Maybe uh, two inches, I think. But uh, anyway, um, I, I just got this uh, section of uh, a plastic acrylic dowel, um, and it's solid, of course. And anyway, I had them cut uh, a specific size, um, and um, as you can see, um, it, it's great. Uh, they just got it all uh, cut for me. Everything's great. Uh, I could you know, smooth that down. Um, but anyway, what I did was I went ahead and I made a mold of it, uh, of this piece here, and I just made a mold. I just grabbed a um, just a plastic cup and uh, wrapped, uh, made a base or a, um, um, a tube or a chamber for that, and then I just poured the silicone over the top of that, and then this is, I made a mold of it. So there's my mold of this piece here. Um, once that's done, um, then I can take my mold and then I can just mix up some resin and I can make that mold uh, as, as big as I want. So I can make it this full size or as you can see, um, you can pour up these smaller ones here, uh, which are, these are great. And I use these uh, both for my originals and for the sculptures that I'm going to be molding and they're all going to be one piece. So it just really depends on what it is that I'm wanting to do. Um, but basically, I just pour up a simple one from, for, especially for my like my original one-offs. I just want to have a very simple, small base. So what I'll do is I'll pour up resin in here, uh, get it to the right height that I want. Once that kicks, I pull it out. I hit it with my grinder and just not, you know smooth it all up. Take some sandpaper to it really quick. Then what I'll do is I will get a uh, a nail, a, a decent sized uh, nail. I'm not really sure what the gauges on this. But anyway, what I'll do is I will pre-drill uh, into the resin base down a portion of the way so that it's, uh, you know, about to there somewhere. I don't want to go through because that'll punch a hole through the bottom of my uh, my base, but I'll, I'll just go down to about here somewhere. I'll pre-drill uh, so that the drill hole is a little smaller than the, uh, than the nail. So that it's, when you go to hammer it in, it is really, really tight, which is good. But you want to pre-drill this um, to make sure that uh, it doesn't split and crack the resin because I've done that. I tried to do it without pre-drilling and it just split the thing right in half. So always pre-drill this, um, but it's a little smaller than the nail, so it, the retention of the, the tightness of the hole holds this uh, nail in really, really tight. I mean, it's in there. Then what I will do, oh, and I should mention that I find center using this amazing uh, combination square uh, that my uh, Dad got me. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, but uh, anyway, it was a fan. It's a fantastic, fantastic tool, and it finds center. So you just set your, you know, your resin piece in there, and it'll it'll find center. Um, so you just mark it, scribe it, drill the hole, um, and then from there you can go ahead and and drill that in. Then once that's done, I'll just go in with a Dremel tool and cut the head off of the nail. So that way I have something to hammer on and then cut it off and then now this is, you know, the dowel that your sculpture is going to go on. And usually what you do is you have one of these pre-made so that you, when you're sculpting, you know how to, uh, you can bake it directly on this, which is nice because then you can just add your foil or your sculpt or your, like your clay or your wires, or whatever it is. Um, and then you can just wrap it around there. And then that just slides down on there, and then you can you can adjust the height of that nail however you want. If you want it to go all the way down, I just cut it shorter so it just drops and touches the base. But I, I like a little bit of length in there. Um, but yeah, and then you just mix up a you know a five minute epoxy or super glue, drop in there, and 
there you go. So that's pretty much what I use for my bases uh, for um, doing original sculptures with the Super Sculpey, or if I'm going to be molding it, I will just sculpt directly to that and um, uh, mold it all up as one piece and then cast it up in, in um, or do it in silicone and then cast it in resin. So anyway, that's what I do uh, with my bases. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, uh, once you, especially once you have the mold and everything. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I do to answer that question as to how I get my bases the way that I do. Um, excellent questions, by the way. I really, truly appreciate you guys giving me some input on the videos that you guys want to see. So thank you guys so much for the new subscribers as well. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so you can also check me out on Instagram, Toby Wayne Studios over there on Instagram. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for checking this video out. And as usual, I will catch you in the very next video.